Our world lead now, President Trump, saying moments ago that the United States government will no longer deal with the British ambassador to the U.S., Kim Derrick, after Derrick described President Trump as, quote, inept and insecure in private diplomatic memos that had been leaked to the Daily Mail. Mr. Trump tweeting, quote, I do not know the ambassador, but he is not liked or well thought of within the U.S. We will no longer deal with him. The good news for the wonderful United Kingdom is that they will soon have a new prime minister. Ambassador Derek, who is actually well liked and well thought of, painted a picture of dysfunction inside the Trump administration and the White House and warned that the Trump presidency could end in disgrace. Tulu, let me start with you. Uh, the president just got back from the UK and, and had a lovely uh, trip there. But I have to say, did you see anything in these cables that surprised you? I mean, it looked some of them could have been lifted right out of the front page of The New York Times. Yeah, uh, the ambassador basically was reflecting what's happening internally in the White House, which is there is a lot of dysfunction. There's a lot of disarray. There are, you do hear different messages from different people within the, the administration. And as, as an ambassador, he was doing his job and reporting back to his home country, saying, if you're going to deal with this government, this is how you should do it. This is what you should be aware of. And there was nothing really all that surprising in there. Uh, he talked about how the president is thin-skinned and I mean, obviously, with the president saying that we'll no longer deal with the ambassador, it's sort of a, a reflection of that. Uh, th this ambassador is probably on his way out the door because there is going to be a new prime minister in the U.K., but the president sort of used the opportunity to attack the current prime minister in the U.K., Theresa May, saying that she did a bad job with Brexit. So uh, that's probably what this ambassador was trying to deal with and trying to make sure that he was keeping under wraps is sort of figuring out how to deal with the president, deal with this administration without causing the type of blow up that we've seen from these leaks. Well, I thought one of the interesting things, he said that, you know, the president did have this. He was dazzled by his trip to the U.K., but he warned that that doesn't mean he's not going to flip and turn against them on some major issue in the future, which is kind of reflects what a lot of the cl our closest, the U.S.'s closest allies have been dealing with, is that they can't trust that this president is going to back them on you know, major issues, whereas in, and instead, you know, align himself with maybe countries that aren't as friendly. Mary Catherine, according to the Daily Mail, Derek wrote in one memo, quote, we don't really believe this administration is going to become substantially more normal, less dysfunctional, less unpredictable, less faction riven, less diplomatically clumsy and inept. Surprising to you? No, I don't think most of it is very surprising. Uh, and <laughs> look, Theresa May has got to be like, sure, this is what I needed right now. <laughs> um, and look, the irony is, of course, that he was trying to prevent this sort of international blow up. The other fact is that because it's the Trump administration, we will likely move on. They'll have a new prime minister, they'll have a new ambassador, and we will all forget about this within like seven days. Right. Eh, no, absolutely. That's, that's yeah. sort of generous. Well, you know, I, I'm trying. <laughs> Derek also had a, a nice turn of phrase. He, he, he went talking about Trump's ability to weather controversy, as you're talking about, and just move on to the next. He that's compared one way him good. to Arnold Schwarzenegger at the end uh, uh, of The Terminator, battered but intact at the end of the film. Uh, yeah. Not a bad comparison. No, I think you should hire, we should hire him as a political analyst. <laughs> I mean, he seems very astute. He was basically describing reality. So it's not surprising, that said, that, you know, even if he wasn't leaving, I don't think it would actually be unreasonable for the Trump administration to be upset. I mean, no one's going to see that whether, you know, it's true and like it. They, they, want to, they want to, you know, feel like there's somebody there that they can deal with who's maybe not, you know, sitting in judgment of them and, um, and writing these kinds of memos. What would be the right reaction just to, for the president just to ignore it? I mean, probably yes, because the problem will sort of fix itself in a bit. And we're all acknowledging that this is stuff that many people say, many people are saying about <laughs> President Trump. Well, and Republicans so, too. Right, I mean, you, you, could, you, you hear could, this all the time from Republicans on Capitol Hill. Yes, you could just leave it alone, but he will not leave it alone. I, right. do, I do think the leaking of cables in general can be problematic for these relationships. And yeah. We be yeah. Certainly was after, uh, after WikiLeaks. Either Absolutely. this prime minister or the next. So. Yeah.